What's going on ballers? Thanks so much for tuning in again. Uh, today we have a new video and it's going to be mail day. So we got a big stack of things that I've collected over the past couple weeks. I don't know about anyone else, but mail has been pretty slow for me uh, with COVID. Uh, seems like uh, a lot, especially the international stuff. I, a couple of these packages are international, so those took a while to get here. So um, some of these things I've ordered a while ago and they finally just showed up. So I'm super excited to open those up. Our guest breakers, uh, Kobe Top's Finest Rookie and a Steph Curry Kaboom. Maybe shades of things to come in, in this uh, mail day video. So we'll get to this in just a second. Um, back here, you can see the hang mosaic hanger pack. We opened up in the last video. If you haven't watched that one yet, I recommend going back, watching that video, making sure you add a comment so you get entered into the giveaway for this LeBron and Luca Green Prism cards. So if you have not gotten in on that giveaway yet, make sure you go and comment on that video to be entered into the giveaway. Uh, so having said all that, let's go ahead and open this up. So here's one of the international packages that took a little while to get here. So let's see what our first card is. If I can get this guy out of here. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. So this card was not even <laughs> in the top loader. But, wow. Luckily, the condition is pretty good. Um, this is a Damian Lillard Kaboom. Still working on completing that set. So we got the Curry back there. Um, good thing I wasn't planning on grading any of these, but still, yeah, looks in pretty good shape. Wow. I, I don't know if the guy just didn't put it in the top loader at all or it fell out or something. I, I'm not sure, but that's strange. But in any case, here is another Kaboom. I just love the look of these cards. They're so cool. Uh, still working on completing this set, getting closer and closer little by little. Uh, and that Dame was one that I... Still needed, so happy to add that one. All right, let's see what's in package number two. Hopefully this one is packaged a little bit better than that first one. Yes. All right, Ginobili Rookie. So I'm still picking up Ginobili Rookie cards, uh, especially serial numbered ones. You can see this one is 1921 of 1999. So not a super short print. A lot of the serial numbered stuff uh, back in uh, 2002 during his rookie season was not super limited. There's a few that are that are shorter printed, but I've been picking up still uh, a lot of his uh, rookie cards, uh, especially if they're numbered. So this one's in good condition. This is a upper deck on a roll. There was a bunch of different upper deck sets that year. Um, so there's a ton of different uh, Ginobili rookies to get from that set. All right. Oh, this one's got a nice tab to open. So let's see what we got in this package. All right. It's not that nice to open. Let me still this. Cut that bad boy. There we go. Okay. This is, no, it's not a Justice Winslow base card. It's, uh, <laughs> those are filler cards. Uh, I do like when people put in fillers to protect the cards. Nice way to get rid of your extra base cards too. If you guys have base cards sitting around and you sell stuff on eBay, throw in some fillers there to protect the card. And here we go. You guys know this is my guy. Lonzo Morning on card flawless autograph number nine of 25. Uh, I like his stuff in his Charlotte uniform too uh, early in his career. I always have a hard time turning down a nice morning autograph. I don't have, this is my first flawless autograph uh, of his. So uh, bid on this in an auction, won it for a pretty good price. I think it was like 30 or 35 bucks. Um, so really good deal on a flawless autograph. So definitely excited to add that one to the PC. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm not gonna use a knife on this one because I can't tell where the card is. Struggling to get this one out. Okay. 
<laughs> it's interesting packaging. Oh, come all ye faithful. Let's see what my Christmas present is. Hey, it's another Ginobili rookie. And may your heart rejoice in the miracle of Christmas. Have a blessed holiday season in May. That's This might be the most interesting packaging I've received a card in so far. I got this one off eBay. Um, so again, another... Man, tape all over this. I will deal with this later. Um, this is his SPX rookie. It's got a nice kind of hollow finish to it, at least along these lines here, which is kind of a cool look. This one's numbered as well out of $29.99. So again, not super short printed, but I do like I do like getting as many numbered rookies as I can. So this is the 0203 Ginobili SPX. And again, I'll ugh, I will deal with all this tape later again tips to people selling and shipping on ebay you don't need to use this much tape it's completely unnecessary use some painters tape put it in a team bag I, the way this was packed was perfect team bag with filler cards in there that's really all you need to do okay i think we got a thick card in here there's only a couple more packages still to go and i had a better idea of what was in which package this time, so I saved the better ones for last. So we still have some really, a couple really big cards coming up at the end. And this one I was super pumped for. National Treasures, Ginobili, Jersey Autograph, numbered 43 of 49. It'd be nice if there was a patch in there, but I'm not going to complain too much. This must have been a redemption, and it still has the Panini seal on it. This is... 1314 National Treasures. So this actually came out of National Treasures from uh, Giannis's rookie year, which is pretty cool. And I like it. it's got his EuroLeague stats on the back. Awesome Ginobili auto. So three Ginobili's in, uh, in this mail day. You guys know I'm a big Ginobili guy. Always adding autographs, patches, rookie cards as much as I can. So here's another international package. This one actually was international, but it came relatively quickly, uh, which was awesome because I didn't have to wait too long for this card. And it's in another package. Let's hope this one survived the trip well, because this was an expensive card <laughs> that I was super, had been after for a long time, and I was finally able to pick up. Ooh, there's some gold there. Everybody likes gold cards. I'll open this up without spoiling it. Boom. Kobe Bryant, rookie, top's finest gold. Uh, I've been wanting the want, I've been after one of these for a really long time. Um, this one does have some greening to it. Um, if you look close, you can tell it. it these Topps Chrome and Finest cards from this year tended to, over time, get a little green, uh, but I'm not too concerned about that. I was much more concerned about the rest of the condition of the card. Corners all look really sharp. Centering is really good, and I wanted one that still had the peel on it to kind of match this one back here that still has the peel, and I was really happy I got one with really good centering. It's not 100% perfect, but a lot of the other auctions I had seen, the centering is way, way, way off on these. So I am super pumped to get one with a really nice centering. It's such a beautiful card. All right. One more package to go. And it's another really big card, uh, just like that Kobe. So let's see. Man, again, I don't, people, you do not need this much tape. These boxes are safe, especially a big box like this. Okay. Triple packed. Nice job. At least the card is going to be very safe. Okay. Well, what do we got here? Oh, 
LeBron, kaboom. Can't believe I actually got this. <laughs> if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I've been after this one for a while trying to complete this kaboom set and I kept mentioning over and over again that I couldn't find the LeBron and when I did, it was way too expensive. Um, I actually, this went up for auction and I missed out on the auction. I, I lost uh, to someone else. Man, it's tamper-proof seal. Jeez. Um, someone else won this auction. Uh, I, I bid it up as high as I could, but I ended up losing. A couple weeks went by. I guess the buyer never paid. Um, man, with that seal up there, it looks like he's wearing goggles or something. <laughs> uh, it's still on the penny sleeve. I'll go ahead and pull it out so we can take a better look at the card. There we go. Really nice condition, but again, I, I wasn't too concerned about, I'm not going to grade this. This is going to stay... Uh, and it's raw condition since all my other kabooms are raw. Uh, so anyway, the guy, the person who won the auction didn't pay. I got a second chance offer from the seller and I jumped all over because who knows when one of these is going to come up for auction again. If, if, if you look at, check out my cards or eBay or anywhere else, um, none of these are for sale right now. There's not one even that someone's offering. So uh, I had to just pull the trigger and go after this when I could. So super pumped to get it. The only big one that I'm still missing from this set is the Kobe, which I, I can't find. One of my viewers, uh, thanks so much for reaching out, did find, put me in touch with someone who I may be able to get one from, but I'm still trying to work out those details. So not sure if it's going to happen, but super excited about that. So really quick recap, uh, two Kabooms, the Lillard, which was not that expensive, and then this one, which was very expensive. Uh, so definitely excited to add both of those. Uh, Kobe gold rookie. I've wanted this card for the last 25 years and finally got one with really nice centering, which is what I was most concerned about. My first Alonzo morning flawless autograph, which was really nice. And then for Ginobili, we had two rookie cards, both serial numbered, the honor roll to 1999 and the SPX to 2999, both nice looking cards and the national treasures. Um, still with the Panini seal on it, jersey autograph, you know, number to 49. So this is a pretty big mail day for me. Definitely uh, a lot of stuff I ordered over the past, you know, month or so that took a while to get here and I just kind of saved it up to open it all at once. Um, took a lot of willpower to not open that LeBron and the Kobe before the video. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and again, if you haven't commented on the last video yet, that mosaic hanger box to be entered into this giveaway, make sure you go and do that now before the end of this week, and we'll run the giveaway results uh, at the beginning of next week. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys at the end of the week with another video. We're going to do another old uh, vintage box looking for Jordans and probably some Shaq rookies. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys on the next video.